Instructomania presents The Geography of Mexico and the Aztec Empire. This video will detail the geographical features of Mexico, how geography shaped the lives of the Aztec, and who lived in the Aztec Empire. The word geography through a historian's lens means the physical environment and how it may influence an economy and culture. Some examples may include scorching deserts that encourage nomads to move between water sources, islands where the surrounding ocean offered a food source, flooding rivers that created fertile farmland, and mountains where a resource like timber was used for building. Section 1. The Geographical Features of Mexico The Americas stretch nearly the entire height of the earth from north to south. During the renaissance of Europe and Asia, the Americas were discovered by explorers eager to gain wealth and spread religion. The native people of the Americas had been thriving for thousands of years before the arrival of explorers. Let's look at Mexico. Almost a thousand years after the Mayans, the Aztecs migrated into modern-day south-central Mexico. Some researchers believe that the legendary homeland of the Aztecs before their migration was located north of Mexico and the Rio Grande in the United States. The Aztec Empire never quite stretched to Baja California to the west of the Gulf of California. However, some tribes escaped there from the Aztecs' ruthless warfare. The Sierra Madre Occidental Mountains sit as a western ridge in northern mainland Mexico. The Sierra Madre Oriental Mountains are to the east, and the central plateau of Mexico is sandwiched between them. The Aztecs nestled between the Sierra Madre del Sur Mountains and the Sierra Madre Oriental Mountains in south-central Mexico. The southern tip of Mexico has the Yucatan Peninsula that juts into the Gulf of Mexico. Legend dictates that as the Aztec were searching for a new home, they witnessed an eagle perched on a prickly pear cactus, eating a snake just as a priest had prophesied. Due to this revelation, they established that Lake Texcoco would be their new home. The Aztec built their capital city, Tenochtitlan, upon it, and it would eventually become Mexico City. The Aztec Empire grew to be one of the largest empires in the Americas, stretching from the North Pacific Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. In addition to the water and food supplied by Lake Texcoco, the empire conquered many neighboring tribes. Fun fact, Lake Texcoco was 580 square miles, making the city of Tenochtitlan roughly the size of the Hawaiian island Oahu. Test your knowledge. Let's play Catch the Eagle. In this game, you will track the Aztec revered eagle bird as it appears on a blank map of Mexico. Once the music stops, you will see a Mexico map labeled with physical features to determine where the eagle ended up. Other animals may appear on the map, so don't forget to keep your eyes on the bird. So, where did the eagle end up? Was it the Yucatan Peninsula, Sierra Madre Occidental Mountains, or the Gulf of California? That's right, it was the Yucatan Peninsula. Let's try it again. Remember to keep your eyes on the eagle. So where did the eagle end up? Was it Sierra Madre Oriental Mountains, the Central Plateau of Mexico, or the Gulf of Mexico? It was the Central Plateau of Mexico. Let's try one last time. You got this. So where did the eagle end up? Was it the Sierra Madre Occidental Mountains, the Gulf of Mexico, or the Gulf of California? Nice job. It was the Gulf of Mexico. Now, here's food for thought. 
Did you know the Aztecs hunted armadillos, coyotes, rabbits, wild turkeys, and snakes to fulfill their meat requirements? They also believed that the cocoa tree was a bridge between earth and heaven. How did geography shape the lives of the Aztecs? The Aztecs adapted to living in Lake Texcoco's retaining soil with woven boards in a waddle and daub design. In this way, they built islands to become structures, gardens called chinampas, and roads. They built canals between islands so that canoes could still travel the lake and arched bridges over the water so that merchants could more easily access the markets with their goods. The bridges were retractable in the event that they needed to defend their city. In addition to irrigatable gardens and cropland, the Aztecs manufactured a double aqueduct system and a levee to the east of Lake Texcoco. This brought in fresh water for a growing population since Lake Texcoco's water had traces of salt from the Gulf of Mexico. Who lived in Aztec society? The Aztecs had an intricate caste system within their society. Those that lived outside the garden city of Tenochtitlan held the name Masewaltin, or commoners. If a commoner impressed a higher-ranked citizen with skills related to conquering or war, they were treated as nobles and called Quatitlan, or eagle nobles. Also, if an Aztec individual owed an enormous debt, he could choose to enslave himself to resolve the discrepancy, called a Lakotin. They were often treated more kind than conquered slaves in Aztec society. Latotin, or merchants, also were respected in Aztec culture as upper-class citizens. Latuanhi ruled various parts of the empire. This class included the king-priest himself. The family members of rulers and the Aztec king enjoyed noble life as Pipilten. As the Aztecs were fierce warriors, they forced neighboring villages to pay tribute, a payment sort of like a tax, to ward off attacks from Aztec warriors. This fact would eventually hurt the Aztec, as neighboring tribes would join the Spanish conquistadors to ultimately defeat the Aztec. Let's check out what it really looks like in Mexico. As you can see, the physical environment of Mexico greatly influenced the economy and culture of the Aztec. Consider this, in what ways does the physical environment influence your town or city? Be prepared to support your answers with examples. From two teachers to all of you amazing teachers out there, we would like to thank you for choosing our resources to use in your classroom. Find more Instructomania teaching materials and lessons at our Instructomania store and on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support.